Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, which I'm pretty positive everybody's new here because I haven't posted on this channel in like three years, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Today I'm showing you how I achieve my mommy look, which is really my everyday look to be honest. So you don't have to be a mom, of course, but um, it's my everyday look. It's how I get ready for work when we're going to work. Hashtag quarantine life. But yeah, so this is the look that I wear pretty much everywhere unless I have time to do eyeshadow. But yeah, if you want to see how I do this look, just keep on watching. We are in business. Um, so I'm going to do my mommy look today. I did a poll on my Instagram and my Facebook in the mommy makeup look one. <laughs> it's going to be a little bit more in depth. I can typically do this makeup routine in like 10 to 15 minutes, 20 if I'm taking my time. But yeah, super excited. I have to learn how to edit again. Um, so I'm excited about that. But Let's go ahead and get into it. I don't want this to be the longest video ever, um, <laughs> especially having to edit a long video. So I have already moisturized today, so I'm going to start with my primer. I'm using the Smashbox um, Photo, fin Photo Finish Primer Editor. I'm about to do my brows real quick with the Anastasia Dip Brow Dark Brown Pomade. And then I'm using the Anastasia <clears throat> eyebrow brush. I don't the name uh, the 12 and the and really I just outline the bottom like that, and then I bring it over, and then I do the same thing. With The Sephora Make No Mistakes High Coverage Concealer, and I'm using the shade 04 Ginger, and I'm shh, I'm using a multi brush. It doesn't have enough. This little cut right here because case is in the phase of hitting <laughs> so we get scratches all the time now i'm going to foundation i think i want to use this and i'm going to mix it with the estee so i'm going to uh use infallible pro glow and i'm going to mix it with the estee lauder double wear and if you don't know double wear is kind of matte um I don't like how matte it is, especially when you put powder on. But the Pro Glow is not matte, so it would be a nice duo. So I'm gonna first do a couple on both. Using concealer in the shade Nude. And I love this concealer. I was like a Tarte Shape Tape Brighter Dye. And now no concealer comes a chance to it. Holds a candle, none of that. None of that. And I do this every makeup look. Um, I use the Clinique Chubby Stick in the shade Gargantuan Golden, number 24. And I'm pretty sure this is the foundation stick, but I always use it for cream contour.
Now I'm gonna take the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH03 and I'm gonna buff my contour out. your skin look like butter um i don't really have an affordable option i mean what is that powder oh the fit me this one is really good if you're trying to stay on a budget um my two favorite powders though are the hourglass veil and the pat mcgrath labs skin fetish sublime perfecting setting powder this is the the good And this is my favorite bronzer. You can get this from any drugstore. I'm pretty positive. It is called Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. <clears throat> and I'm going to take the Sigma F40 brush. shade and light <laughs> contour in I think this is the medium one it doesn't say okay and I'm gonna take a more precise brush to cut my cheek this is a Luxie 522 tapered highlighter But I'm really just trying to cut those cheeks. Um, and then we're gonna take the rest of the powder that we put out. And this is the only place I'll leave powder on. Cosmetics Colorette Blush Trio, and I'm using their shade Seclusion. It's like a peach shade. I'm going to take the Better Bronzer again, and I'm going to take my 35F brush from Farah. Pretty sure I got this in a boxy charm. And just run that in my crease and take that down my now I'm going to use my Power Up Mascara from Better London um, and coat my lashes real quick. Just bought two of these. Probably the House of Lashes Iconic.
And then while I do that, I'm going to not spill that powder. I'm going to use the Physician's Formula. And the color is brown eyes. It's a brown shade. I'm just going to... Deepen up the So now, for the finishing touches, I'm taking the Urban Decay Brow Blade and I'm using the liquid part. I'm just going to make some shirts of like, here, there. Okay. And now, last but not least, is the lips. So lips, I try to stay pretty nude, pretty neutral. I don't try to be extra when it comes to lips just because I um, don't like real sick. Oh, sorry. This is the lip liner and it's 10. Hold on, baby. LA Girl and the color it's a nude. Not sure what it looks like. And it's the mini one, so I guess I didn't put the name on it. Okay. So, we are pretty much done here. Um, I don't really wear highlighter anymore. It just emphasizes texture for me. But that would be the step to do. Now, um, last step is to set your face. This is the Morphe setting spray. They just came out with a matte one. I haven't tried it. Don't care to be matte. I like to be, I like to look luminous. But let's take down my hair. You can see me find it. Wow. So this is my everyday mom look. Um, I also have a quicker look. If this one was like oh, this too many steps, I have another look that I do that minimizes steps. So if you're interested in that, just let me know. Um, I think the next look that I'm going to do is colorful eyeshadow since a lot of people wanted that on the pool, even though the mom won one. I still want to put out a colorful look as well. So I'll probably record that tomorrow and then try to have both edited. I don't know, I might be spreading myself a little thin. Being bad it's the weekend. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was my first video. Um, I definitely appreciate you watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell if you want to see what I'm studying. I'm not saying that I have a schedule, but 
There's more to come. <laughs> All right, bye.